a bathhouse. Hello and welcome to Chubby Munch King Studio. Spirit Away is the first movie that introduced me to Studio Ghibli and is definitely one of my all-time favorite Studio Ghibli movies. And today I'm going to show you how did I make this Spirit Away Bathhouse diorama. <laughs> to start a project, I 3D printed the bathhouse model. Before we move on, it needs some sanding and cleanups. I choose red as a base color because 70% of the bathhouse is red. For the rest 30%, I'll paint over later. I then mix red and orange together and dab it on the red bathhouse to create patches of fading spots. Next, I mix green and a hint of blue for the roofs. I'm trying to add as much details as possible. Bathhouse has a lot of windows. To make them look realistic, I'm adding reflections on the windows by highlighting light blue background with white and gray. To make the water pipes and electric wires, I use silver rub and buff metallic finish on both thick and thin PLA cables. I love rub and buff. You give anything a good rub, you will get shiny. I use a small plier shape the PLA cable and fit them into the gaps. Then I brush on some rust effect on metal pipes. I also watered down some black paint and created a water stain under windows and pipes. After everything is set, I give it a layer of black wash. Check out how to make black wash in the link down below. After finish painting the bathhouse, time to write down the bathhouse sign. Check my handwriting. It's, um, so-so. As always, I like adding moss effect where the structure meets water. Before moving on to next part, I like to take a step back and check if I missed anything. I think everything looks good so far. I'm using a white fabric to make the flag that's sticking out from the side of the bathhouse. Again, having fun practice my so-so handwriting. To make the flag look like it's a moving motion, I put my flag on one of these uh, cactus arms and brush on a layer of mad Mod podge. I use three colors wool black, gray, and white to create the smoke that's coming out of the chimney. With my felting mat, I fully felted the black wool, half felted the gray wool, and leave the white wool loose. To glue the smoke to the chimney, I use matte Mod Podge. Now, after the flag and the Mod Podge dried up, I use thin black wire as the flag pull and string to attach the flag.
I cut a tiny piece of navy blue fabric, use it as the bathhouse norin, and add it to the front door. To make the bonsai tree in front of the bathhouse, I use Boon and Cynic's 2 to 3 inch realistic trees. I use a plier to twist the branches and create the bonsai tree look. I'm also removing all the leaves on the branches, except the ones that's on the tips of the branches. I made a frame as an extra layer with a PLA sheet to elevate the bathhouse above the resin. I'm putting masking tape around the base to prevent glue and sand accidentally stuck on the side. I painted a layer of Mod Podge to glue it on sand as the ocean bottom. Finish by spraying a layer of watered down Mod Podge. To make the island on the other side of the bridge, I used styrofoam with plaster. Check my Pogoroso episode for how to make realistic rock in the link down below. I'm adding a layer of black wash to the surface, but I'm leaving the top part blank. I made a checker pattern with the metal ruler and painted different shades of brown to create the mosaic floor. To finish the floor, I added a layer of black wash. I rip off some branches from the pink orange colored tree to create the flower field that Chihiro was running through just like the movie. I added extra fences to create a path. I also made a small house and a shed to recreate the little town scene before Chihiro reaches the bathhouse. I cut off a strip of styrofoam to elevate the train track. I brushed some mud podge on and around the foam, and poured some scenery dirt on the side of the track. Pat it tight and push it towards the track with a piece of cardboard. Glue the track on top of the foam. Then I pour gray ballast on top of the track. The Mod Podge will hold them in place. Use fan brush to brush off the ballast from the track. Put all the parts in place so I can start painting the ocean floor. I paint light brown around all the structures, then paint the ocean floor bluer as it goes deeper. Then I cut out some PLA strips and hot glue them around the base. I mix very small amount of blue pigment to make sure the ocean floor can be seen through the resin. put the shrine in the middle as a reference for the big tree across the bridge. I'm drilling a hole where the tree will be plugged in. And vacuum away the plaster powder. You don't want any of this powder ends up in the resin. I decide to add some tall grass around the structure. Removing the PLA sheet is somehow one of my favorite parts of my project. So satisfying. Well, using an X-Acto knife to remove the edges is also pretty satisfying. Next step, 
adding water texture. I'm using glass Mod Podge and blow it with an airbrush to create ripples. I waited until the Mod Podge mostly dried and mixed Wulan Cynics Snowflake with glass Mod Podge to create sea foams. To make the diorama stand out, I painted the base black. 